Stovall up with the second free throw. Missed it off the side of the rim. Rebound, Reggie Rumfield to James Dean. Under 10 seconds left. Bounce pass across midcourt. Reggie Rumfield, top of the key to Garrett McCullough. Near corner for three. Got it! Hit the three at the buzzer. Mineola wins the basketball game. 45 wow. to 44 off the hands of Garrett McCullough. A game-winning buzzer beater shot. Mineola beats Quitman here in Mineola. And the Quitman fans are shocked. Allie York will bring it down for Edgewood. Danny Mabry with the defense. Up ahead to Susan Agassin in the Edgewood front court. Drives left baseline. A spin move in the post. Right hand hook shot. No good. Tracks down her own rebound. Kicks it out Chandler Short. Right wing for three. It's online and it's good. Can't leave Chandler Short wide open. She'll hit it every time. 11 to 7. Susan Agassin up with the free throw. Good. Agassin's been clutch. Really has. 58 to 52. One more. It's on its way. Online and good. Seven point lead for Edgewood. 12 seconds left. Susan Agassin with a steal off the inbound pass. Lays it in with a left hand and a foul. Agassin is playing right out. 61 to 52. Edgewood in the full court press. Win throw to inbound. They get it into Hannah Pinnell. A near steal by Chandler Short. Michaela Brown comes up with it. Five seconds left. Hands it off to Allie York. To two seconds left for Susan Agassin. One second. The clock expires. The Edgewood Lady Bulldogs have defeated Winsboro at SFA and are headed to the state tournament in Austin. How about that? An upset here in the regional finals. Congratulations to the Edgewood Lady Dogs and the Edgewood community. Your season rolls on. One more free throw coming for the 6'2 senior. Three foot dribbles to the ground. Up with the free throw. No good. Rims out. Big rebound, Cameron Frazier. Skies to the rim. And brings it across midcourt. An alley oop style pass. Oh. Still a travel up the backboard and in. That alley oop is missing everything but the slam dunk. It's 11 to 10. Lucas Aikens on the other end of the floor. Drives all the way in. Off the backboard. Got it from the left block. Count it and one. He'll go to the line. An opportunity for a three point play for Lucas Aikens. And Whitaker inbounds for Alba Golden on the far side of the court into the backboard in front of the Alba Golden bench. Gets it into Kyle Miller. Across the timeline, right hand dribble. To Austin Schaefer, left wing. To Gobble in the corner. Back to Caleb Table. Kyle Miller inside to Schaefer with three seconds left. Gets it from the right low block off the glass. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Alba Gordon takes the lead at the buzzer. It's 16 to 15 after one. Panthers on top. We'll take a break and we'll have second quarter action when we come back. This is the best of East Texas high school basketball on 99.9 KMU and around the world at KMU.com. Alba Golden basketball as Grant Celine touched it last. Six seconds remaining in the second quarter. Grant Celine with the full court press. Miller inbounds to Colton Lennon. Under five seconds to play. Lennon to midcourt. Top of the key. Gobble. Two seconds left. Three-pointer at the buzzer. Goes in! Gonna gobble. Nails the trifecta at the buzzer. 36 to 23 at the break. A 13-point lead for Alba Golden. The Panthers coach are hot. Lennon still in the backcourt. Across the timeline of the pass to Philip Gobble, left wing. Alba Golden fans come to their feet behind it. Ten seconds to play. Golden Lennon top of the key. He'll hold the basketball for the final five seconds. To three seconds, down to two. It's the final. 55 to 46. The Alba Golden Panthers defeat Grand Celine in a play-in, playoff game. The Alba Golden Panthers are headed to the playoffs. I feel like I've said that before. Kevin Deloach, top of the key with the basketball. To Hunter, cross-court pass, right wing, wide open. Jacob Sharp for three, missed it off the side of the rim. Rebound, Jordan Tittle here in the corner in front of the broadcast booth. To Jose Cruz, a football-style pass, length of the floor to Dean Lotta. Laid it up and in with a right hand with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Lead back to 10 for Grand Celine, 16 to 6. Jacob Sharp to Josh Sharp, top of the key. Trying to let something develop for the Edgewood offense to Jacob Sharp near corner. Back to Josh. Kevin Deloach, top of the key for three. Good. Drained it. Nothing but net. Kevin Deloach with the first points of the third quarter. And it's a three-pointer. Cutting the Grand Saline lead to four. 26 to 22. Edgewood with a full court press. A steal by Kevin Deloach at midcourt. Jump stop. Left low block. Right-handed layup in. All of a sudden, it's just a two-point lead for Grand Saline. 26-24. 54 to 43, 11 point lead for Edgewood. 
Five seconds to play. Shane Neal for three, no good. Rebound Lucas Aikens at the buzzer. His follow won't go. And that'll do it. A big win for the Edgewood Bulldogs. 54 to 43 here in Grand Saline. And Edgewood hangs on to that first spot in District 18 2A.